Hello, my name is Christopher Lovejoy. I'm a junior doctor working in London and a clinical data scientist. And today we're talking about resources for getting into data science. So data science has become a hugely popular field. It's been named by Harvard Business Review as one of the sexiest jobs of the 21st century. It's been the top job on Glassdoor for several years running. And there's been a huge explosion of resources to help people go into data science. So I thought I'd share the resources that I used and the experiences that I had with them. My background is that I work full time as a doctor. And alongside that, for the last couple of years, I've been self-educating in data science and machine learning using online courses and after doing that for a while I landed a job at a startup in London and next year I have an offer to do a data science and machine learning masters in London at UCL. There'll be timestamps in the description below but what I'll be talking about is courses to introduce you to the foundation of machine learning, courses to introduce you to the coding side of machine learning and then courses to then build on top of that knowledge going deeper into the machine learning and deeper into the coding. Now the first course that I used and pretty much everybody I know who's into data science and machine learning used this course is Machine Learning by Andrew Ung on Coursera. It's a fantastic course to start with. If you're even thinking about going into machine learning, any time spent doing this course would not be wasted. It's very well taught. You have a combination of video lectures with text to go alongside that and questions to test your knowledge and programming exercises. My main criticism would be that it goes pretty technical, which is fine as long as you really want to go into the machine learning. If you just want to get a more superficial understanding, then it can be quite tough to work through at times. It's an 11 week course and it will provide you with a foundational understanding of machine learning. So as well as an understanding of the foundations of machine learning, which you can get through Andrew Ung's course, I would definitely recommend getting a solid understanding of statistics. There's stacks and stacks of resources out there for statistics. I'm not going to recommend any particular one. I think if you just search for courses in statistics and do any of them, then they can give you a pretty solid foundation. But just having an understanding of the key types of descriptive statistics and inferential statistics and how those methods work will put you in very good stead. In data science, Python is the best language to learn. So if you're going to learn a language, definitely start with Python. Uh, that's the most commonly used in machine learning and data science. And a lot of the libraries used are built on top of Python. R is the other commonly used language in data science, but it's used less so in machine learning. So if you're interested in the machine learning side of things, then, then I'd recommend going with Python and maybe being familiar with R. So the course that I used to learn Python was the DataCamps course, Python for Data Science and it's a very solid introduction, it provides you with the basics that you need. And actually that's the only course that I use. Everything else that I then did was by doing actual projects and building on top of that. There's a lot of different packages built on top of Python. Popular ones are Scikit-learn, Keras, and TensorFlow, but I wouldn't recommend just learning these for the sake of it. My recommendation would be think of a project uh, that you want to work on or something that you'd like to do, and then try doing it in those packages. They have pretty good descriptions of how to use the packages on their own websites. And if you're not sure of a project to make, then I would recommend going to Hackathon and I've made another video about my experiences with hackathons. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. In terms of learning Python, another recommendation that I've had is the book Learning Python the Hard Way. So apparently it's a really heavy book to work through, but it gives you a very solid foundational understanding of Python. So if you have the time to invest, that's something worth doing. I haven't done it personally, so I can't vouch that it's great, but I've had a lot of people recommend it to me. And the other language that's definitely worth learning is SQL, spelled SQL, uh, which is a language used to pull information out of tables, and a lot of the data is going to to be stored in, in that kind of format, so uh, it's definitely worth doing some courses on SQL as well. So once you have that foundational understanding of machine learning and coding, the next step actually depends on what exactly you want to do with it. If you're somebody who wants to go deep into the coding and become perhaps a machine learning engineer or a data scientist who does a lot of coding, then it's worth doing courses that will delve deeper into the code. Whereas if you're someone who's not actually going to be doing a lot of the coding themselves and is going to be perhaps in more of a, an advisory role or more of a role where they're collaborating with people who are doing the code, then there's other courses that you can do to help deepen the understanding, but not necessarily go deep into the code. So for deepening the understanding, a great next step would be to do a course again by Andrew Ung, which is the Deep Learning Specialization. So this is a much longer course but it goes deeper into machine learning and it will cover different types of deep learning. And again, this one is extremely well taught. I think in total, it's advised to spend 20 to 30 weeks on it. It's also available on Coursera, but you can get all of the videos on YouTube. But if you want to be doing the program exercises, then it's available on Coursera. And the other great course to deepen your machine learning understanding, but that actually also is more guided towards coding, is the Fast AI course. So the course by Fast AI is called Practical Deep Learning for Coders. And they say that you should have 12 months of Python experience before you take the course. It's a really fantastic course, which as opposed to the Andrew Ung courses, which take more of a bottom-up approach, 
They explain the foundational mathematical principles and then build up on those. The fast AI course tries to take the top-down approach. So they first get you to code something that works and then they'll drill down into why it works and understand a bit of the code and understand some of the theory behind the machine learning. So with Andrew Ung's course, you could watch it through probably on like 1.5 times speed, watch it through once, maybe twice, and you'll be able to pick up and retain most of the content. The fast AI course is a lot more dense and it's gonna require a lot more stopping and thinking about it. I think they said that on average, people watch it three or four times all the way through so that's much more a case you can watch a little bit stop pause try and code the things that they're talking about and then carry on so it's a lot more invested and I don't think it's necessary to do the fast AI course unless you're interested in going deep into the coding aspect but it does also contain a lot of useful things that help you to understand the machine learning on a deeper level so what I found most useful to do on top of that was actually just to get practical experience just trying to make things trying to solve real-world problems going to hackathons trying to find a company that's working in data science see what's kind of problem they have and see how you can use the skills that you learned to help them solve that problem. Another notable recommendation is Kaggle. So Kaggle is a website where they present data science problems and then anybody can enter, uh, put their solution and then you'll get ranked based on how well you do. And this was recommended to me a lot as I started in data science. In the end, I actually haven't really used it. I've had a look through some of the results on there, but I haven't actually really used it. And my impression is that it's something that could be useful to do if you're working in a team of people who want to solve a Kaggle problem where you can kind of all work together and learn from each other. But actually, if you're just trying to learn your I haven't found Kaggles to be a super useful way to do so. I personally didn't know anyone who was entering Kaggles, so in the end I, I decided it's probably not worth doing. So those are just a few of the courses that are available to get started in data science and machine learning. I found them extremely useful. I hope that you do too. If you think there's other courses that would be useful for people to be aware of, then leave a comment below. And if you're coming from a medical background and you're interested in getting into data science and machine learning, I run courses in London which aim to provide a non-technical introduction to machine learning. So whereas the courses that I've mentioned the ones by Andrew Ung and other people tend to get quite technical quite quickly. I wanted to develop a course which covers the key principles but then doesn't get bogged down in technical detail. That's what the aim of my courses are and if you'd be interested in those then have a look in the description below. There's some details there about how you can attend those. That's everything for today. Thanks for watching.